What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at the MSI Optics G241VC monitor. We're gonna be checking its features, do some simple tests, and find out if you should even buy it. Now let's get to it. Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm just gonna be unpackaging and unboxing this monitor from me my brother's friend, Elaine. Shout out to you. I wanna get the unpackaging process documented just so that it's 100% clear that any damage right out of the packaging is not on me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's the Optics G24 1VC. It's curved, it's 75 hertz, it has a one millisecond response time, it has free sync, and you can change the game modes and I have no idea what this is. First out of the box is the body of the stand and then we have the base. Both are metal and it's good that they didn't use a plastic stand on this monitor. The cables that are included are the power cable, the HDMI cable, and the VGA cable. Now it's time to put them all together and see what this monitor can do. This monitor was released back in April 2019. It's a 75Hz VA panel with a 1 millisecond response time. It doesn't have an external power brick. You can tilt it up and down, but unfortunately no side to side. The metal stand really feels durable and sturdy, and so when you shake your table or accidentally bump it, your monitor doesn't really wobble as much. Unfortunately, it's not VESA mount compatible, but there's an option to buy an MSI wall mount adapter separately if you really need it. As for dead pixels, I wasn't able to find any which was really fortunate because this monitor is actually for a friend. For backlight bleeding, which I know some of you are really eager to know, I find it hard to be able to distinguish, especially in this video, but it's totally different from what I see in person. Uh, there's actually almost none if you'd ask me. As for ghosting, if my understanding is correct, it's when an object leaves a trail behind when moving. If that's the case, then I noticed some very mild ghosting which is really not enough to be a deal breaker. Now I tried gaming on this monitor just to see if I will notice the difference between 144Hz and 75Hz because I've been gaming on a 7... rather, I've been gaming on a 144Hz monitor for a while now and in my opinion, yeah, it was a really noticeable difference dropping from 144 to 75 hertz, but still, the 75 hertz experience is still far more superior than um, going 60 hertz. So I think with the prices of 60 hertz monitor nowadays, the difference between a 60 hertz and a 75 hertz isn't really there isn't really a huge difference between them. So I think settling for a 60 hertz monitor it's just not worth it anymore nowadays. Also, I, I also want to talk about one thing though. Um, th this monitor right here being 75 hertz, uh, it is a reputable brand MSI. It's 7,000 pesos, I think. I forgot what exactly the price point is, but it's somewhere along those lines. 7 to 7.5k and the HKC monitor that I have the 144 Hertz at first I had I was having issues with it but then the issue started to disappear maybe the cable was just loose or something but yeah I got that monitor for 9,000 to be exact or rather 9,081 pesos but my brother told me to just pay 9,000 flat so if you're gonna ask me Honestly, if should I even go with this or just go straight for the HKC that I have right now for 9,000 pesos and it's 27 inches by the way compared to this one which is only 24 really the, the difference in price is significant and the difference between the refresh rate is also significant so I would say that 
if you're already gonna put out money like 7,000 pesos for a monitor like this one well it also uh, depends on what you're really gonna use it for but if you're really into gaming and especially first-person shooter games I would highly recommend just going for the monitor like the monitor that I have the HKC I forgot what the exact um, model is but it's the HKC M27G3F monitor yeah that's the one so if you're a casual gamer and you're just into gaming and you just really want to feel the fluidness of the game just go straight for the 144 hertz because yeah settling for 75 hertz is more it's really much better than the 60 hertz of course but at this price point you're only gonna add a few more cash and you're good to go with a 144 hertz so i'd say go with a 144 hertz that's just my opinion though but then again the experience gaming on a 75 hertz was was still a pretty good one and yeah maybe i think if you could if you're gonna buy it second hand i think for a much lower price maybe around 5k something like that maybe that's a reasonable price and that's a reasonable move is it well it's really just a case-to-case -case basis if you're someone who could settle for 75 hertz then this monitor is for you but if you're someone who's especially if you have a system that's um dishing out a good high fps on most games then really you should really go for 144 hertz otherwise you, you you're just having a huge bottleneck with your monitor if your system is putting out 144 fps above and you're playing with a you're playing on a 75 hertz monitor then you're really not getting what your system is um putting out so case to case basis if you're if you have a system that's not really putting out 100 frames above and you're planning on using that system for a really really long time then settling for a 75 hertz is really reasonable at that point but if you're someone who's um, gaming on a system that's not really hitting 100 fps above but you're planning to upgrade along the line then i would suggest really just going for a 144 hertz monitor otherwise you'll just be wasting money because if you buy a 75 hertz and then plan on upgrading in the future you're gonna sell that monitor for less than really less than what it was worth so yeah that's my take on it so also um i did mention the hkc monitor in this video so i'll also be doing a specific review for that monitor because i did um i did a video about it and it was actually my very first video but it was only a first impression thing it wasn't really a review i didn't really check the specifications i didn't really check the performance and it's also not in english and so i would really think that people would prefer to have that video and be in english and so stay tuned for that video it's gonna come out very soon hopefully hopefully really soon but yeah hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you guys want more content like this going your way do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next video